NHL regular season recap night 140. Hoping to actually get this one uploaded on time today. Apologies for yesterday. Just three games, the first of which is the classic rivalry between the Buffalo Sabres and Toronto Maple Leafs. This one, though, not as high scoring, blow for blow, punch for punch as it usually is. We go no goals in the first. Nylander and Olofsson trading goals in the second. No goals in the third either. We head to OT and Austin Matthews scores his 54th of the year for the overtime winner. It was not that eventful of a game shooting wise. Uh, Ilya Samsonov stops just, excuse me, my computer's broken. Uh, <laughs> 24 of 25 for a 960. UPL goes 25 of 27 for a 926. The two extra shots, just enough for the Leafs to take this one home. It's a 2-1 victory in overtime over Buffalo. The Colorado Avalanche hosting the Detroit Red Wings, and this one felt like one of those good old-fashioned rivalry games between these two teams. Of course, now that they're in separate conferences, it doesn't always seem that way, but last night it definitely felt that way. Uh, pretty back and forth for pretty much only the first period. Fabry, Makar, Perron, and McKinnon trading goals back and forth. Uh, Fabry 16th, Makar's 15th, Perron's 13th, and McKinnon's 40th uh the first and fourth goals here coming on the power play in the second period the abs start to take over though it's our curry and arturi lekanen excuse me uh making it 3-2 about halfway through the frame and then in the last four minutes kale mccarr scores two more to net his first career nhl hat trick um and at that point the game is looking pretty much one for the abs <clears throat> In the third, they add two more goals, one from Jonathan Drouin and the second from Jean-Luc Foudy, his first goal in the NHL. So congratulations to him, and it ends up being a 7-2 final for the Avs, a pretty dominant win over a Red Wings team that's looked good as of late. So a much-needed one there from Colorado as they do sit third in the Central for the time being. Makar, of course, the biggest guy in this game. He has the hat-trick plus an assist. McKinnon with a goal and three assists, and ran in with four assists, like just all the big guys doing what the big guys do. For the Avalanche and Alex Georgiev, meanwhile, goes 27 for 29 for a 931. So everyone that needed to perform for this team performed quite well. Uh, for Detroit, Alex Lyon goes 35 for 40. It actually wasn't a terrible performance from him. A couple of the McCarr goals you probably want back. Two of them kind of just leak through him, especially that second one. But you can't make every save, especially when you get 40 put on you. So uh, not a bad effort from him, just not quite enough for the W, of course. It's a 7-2 final here for the Avs. The Ducks taking on the Avs in the final game of the night, and this one was a bit less exciting than the previous two. Uh, two kind of bottom feeder teams not really playing for all that much. Uh, the Ducks with a bit of a disparaged lineup because of the Adam Henrique and Sam Carrick trade that had happened prior to the game. So um, an already depleted lineup just gets that much more depleted. They were also without Troy Terry in this one. So all in all, not a great team on the ice here for Anaheim, uh, but they find a way to get it done over Ottawa, which is just mind-blowing. Mark Kostelik scores the only goal in the first First, Ryan Strom with the only goal in the second. And then Alex Kalorn, three and a half minutes into the third, scores the eventual game-winning goals. Just a 2-1 final here, but holy smokes, is this a tough one for Ottawa. They only face 16 shots. 16. 16 shots. Mad Sogard gives up two goals and 875 save percentage, while Lucas Destal, once again in these games, they really don't have much business winning, getting outshot 2-1, 29 of 30 for a 967 and the win. I don't understand the Ducks. I don't understand the Senators. I don't understand how the Senators are that bad. Uh, I don't understand how Lucas Destal always finds a way to make like a 950 plus performance happen when his team is massively outperformed. But happened again tonight. Ducks win 2-1 and that is it for NHL regular season recap at night 140. We got a bunch of good games tonight. So we'll catch back up with you guys once those are all done. Talk to you soon.